stargazers to attempt alien communication in 2018. A group of space-gazing dudes are going to try and communicate with aliens, but some reckon it might doom us all. A group known as Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligences, or METI, will in 2018 attempt to message alien life. According to CNET, most concur the message should consist of physics and math, as these are forms of knowledge aliens likely hold in common with humanity. However, many scientists, including Stephen Hawking, worry that such a message could put Earth in danger. Previous attempts to communicate with alien civilizations have included sending out the formula for alcohol and Craigslist advertisements. But if anything, let's hope they don't beam up a YouTube comments section. Huh, we'd be insta-vaporized for sure. Come at me, space bro! Wanted! Captain Planet! Looking for a new job that offers travel, space secrets, and a six-figure salary? Well, NASA could be the employer for you. The Space Agency is seeking a Planetary Protection Officer, or PPO for short. For up to $187,000 a year, you'll be expected to avert the organic constituent and biological contamination in human and robotic space exploration. Or in other words, defend our little blue planet from risque and dirty alien life. And to stop space-bound humans and robots from polluting planetary ecosystems. Prospective applicants need to be American, science whizzes, and have advanced knowledge of planetary protection. Or more simply, you need to be Iron Man. For those interested, the current PPO is Dr. Catherine Cassie Conley. And on her first day in the job, she was given a pair of Men in Black style sunglasses. And there's nothing secret alien defense agent dish about all that, right? Right? Alien hunters detect radio signals from distant galaxy. Scientists searching out alien life were presented with a new hope last month when their equipment picked this up. This is a radio burst from another galaxy. Writing the astronomer's telegram, scientists reported 15 fast radio bursts detected from a dwarf galaxy some 3 billion light years from our own. Scientists suggest the burst may have come from a magnetar, which is a rotating neuron star with a strong magnetic field. Researchers also speculate that the burst may originate from alien laser technology used to propel and power spacecraft, like wind powers sails on a ship. That theory is similar to Breakthrough Starshot, an initiative aimed at propelling nanocraft to Proxima Centauri with Earth-based lasers. Whatever they come from, Researchers say that those signals began traveling from their galaxy over 10 billion years ago, when ours wasn't even 2 billion years old. Or in other words, it happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Saturn Probe Enters Grand Finale NASA's Cassini spacecraft has begun the final stage of its mission after nearly 20 years traveling in space. The Cassini spacecraft entered its grand finale orbits between Saturn's cloud tops and the planet's rings on April 26, 2017. According to NASA, Cassini survived its first dive between Saturn and its innermost rings, sending back never-before-seen images of the planet's atmosphere, including this hurricane. During the dives, Cassini will measure ice and other content in Saturn's rings and take measurements from the planet's rocky core. Cassini will enter its final orbit on September 15th, in which it is expected to destroy itself by flying directly into Saturn's atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft was launched in October 1997 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. It traveled 2.2 billion miles to reach Saturn, 